Hello, beautiful collective, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I'm here doing an evening read. Yay. I've got the fireplace going. It's all cozy in here, you guys. It's like perfect. So anyway, I'm just checking into how your person is feeling about you right now, current energy, okay? Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support, you guys. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the confirmations. All of my subscribers, a huge thank you to you. And welcome to everybody new here. All right, so the one on your mind, okay, how they're really feeling about you right now, okay, current energy. All right, spirit, messages for my beautiful collective. Trapped in something, feeling embarrassed and ashamed, okay? This person, um, they want out of something, but they don't know exactly what, like, they don't know where to start. They just don't know where to start. Uh, they're, if they get out, if they, if they try to get out of a situation, this person's going to have to tell the truth. And I feel like they're trying to like save face with everyone around them. They're really worried about what other people are going to say about them breaking free from something. This could also be somebody who needs to go to jail soon. Like it's right around the corner. Like they're going to be going to jail and they may not want you to find out about it. Um, there could be a lot of gossip, though, about this person. And I just feel like they're embarrassed. They're ashamed. Feeling hopeless. Very emotional. Okay, they hate wherever they are. They're either stuck in a relationship or they could be going to jail or in jail. Okay, I feel like it's a relationship. And there's they're getting a lot of pressure from other people. And I feel like this person, they are all that they can think about. They're admiring you. This person admires you for everything that you've been through. Okay, they, they're thinking about this while they're stuck in this situation. All they're thinking about, really, is you and what they did to you while they're stuck in some situation that they feel like they can't get out of without, like, everybody being angry with them or, um, I don't know, betraying them, maybe. They're afraid of what other people are going to think. Okay, why is this person, yeah, see, afraid. Why are they so afraid of what other people are going to think? It's almost like they're they're trying to figure out a way to get out with without um, looking like an embarrassment or something. They they feel powerless. I need to figure this out. Why does this person feel powerless? And you're out here making bold boss moves. Um, you're very confident, very high vibing right now. Uh, maybe extremely energetic. You could have a burst of energy or a burst of creativity, okay? I've been picking up on that in the readings as well. Um, you're starting a new future, that's why. You feel very light, and you're. I feel like you've released the burdens from the past. You've released all that baggage, all the painful memories. You're starting a new cycle, maybe even starting something new. Could be a new project, could be a house move, location change. But you're like ready for new things now. And this person feels stuck and powerless somewhere. Feeling like they feel like an absolute fool. I'm getting the sense that this person juggled you in a third party. Because I'm seeing this, this uh, fool juggling, right? Um, you could be a Cancer. You could be a Gemini. You could be a Leo. Heavy Gemini energy. This person could be a Leo. They could be a, um, a Virgo, Aries. I feel like they, they couldn't make a decision. And now they're feeling very, very stuck, trapped. There may even be somebody that they could have gotten someone pregnant to. 
then here you are with all this strength and this person feels weak and powerless to do anything about this they may be worried that you're about to get someone new this person all they want to do is get back together with you okay i feel like they um they they put you in a third party they sacrificed you in that third party and now they want you back um whatever they chose over you it's not working out okay i'm getting the sense that they're in a third party situation somewhere yeah thinking about you okay see this is why it's a third party they're physically with someone else or someplace else but they're thinking about you and they're very emotional feeling very hopeless because they they know that they're losing you i mean the way you're moving right um and you could even be making a physical move away right but the, i mean the bold moves that you're making um and whatever it is that you're doing you're just experiencing life now i mean you're living your life you know and i feel like it's it's driving this person crazy they can tell that um that you're leaving their life you're leaving this person behind yeah see this is what they're afraid of is this five of wands if it in order to break free from whatever situation that they're in they have to tell the truth they they may even need to take some kind of blame in this situation okay i feel like maybe this person put all the blame on you and now they're good they're if they want out of a situation i feel like it's a relationship it's a toxic relationship if they want out of that they're gonna have to face the music they're gonna have to tell people why they want out they know they need to be honest here and they're afraid that all of these people are going to turn against them and fight with them and put them down and they'll lose people in their life they're afraid to go up against all of these people you know but you're not afraid of anything your your energy is coming out as like being fearless and it's making this person feel in, embarrassed and ashamed of themselves okay they they do they feel very embarrassed because they feel like the weakest link here uh, you're way stronger than this person is and they know it burdened yeah and I feel like this is who they're with is this Queen of Swords energy um, Libra Gemini Aquarius energy okay uh, and she's like this person's extremely burdened with her I feel like they're afraid of her too because she's somewhat of a bully um, I'm just picking up on that energy you know she kind of like whoops this person makes them work really hard she may even be um, you know this is this masculine is a breadwinner so she's always wanting more and more and more money I feel like too she may be in in competition with you when it comes to money and if this masculine is her provider she's like making them work extra hours to try to keep up with your do with what you're doing um, so if you're making good money she wants this masculine to like at least match what you're making if not outdo you Okay, so she's like working this masculine into the ground basically is what she's doing to try to keep up with whatever it is you're doing. Okay, she's competing with you. But since it's this masculine who's the money maker, they're the ones who have to work extra for to like satisfy her her competition. You know, whatever it is that you're doing, you make it look easy. But this masculine, um, she's just, she bullies this masculine. She tells him what to do. He's like her puppet. And he's afraid to speak the truth. He can't stand it where he is. I, I think he kind of hates this karmic. <laughs> um, this movie scene that they're showing me is, um, J is it Jack Brooks Monster Slayer? Okay, it's such a good movie, you guys. It really, truly is. <laughs> 
Jack Brooks Monster Slayer. And um, in that movie, he's sitting with a therapist, and the therapist asks him, you know, um, how's your girlfriend, Eve, or whatever her name is. And he says, you know, I don't know. I think I might hate her. <laughs> That's the movie scene that they're showing me. So, yeah, I feel like this person is starting to literally hate the karmic. They hate where they, hate where they are. Um, they're miserable. And I feel like this karmic just like kicks this person's behind like every day. She's, she is their karma, really. She is their karma. They are paying a huge karmic debt being with her. Yeah, she's the, she's the devil in disguise. Oh yeah, she is devil in disguise. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, she's also, she's very toxic. She may even have some toxic addictions, okay? Um, drinking, substances, whatever. I feel like she's, uh, she's addicted to ruling with an iron fist. She's addicted to um, making people fear her in order to control them, okay? This, this karmic could very well be a narcissist. That's what this person chose over you, you know, and now they're embarrassed because they're so unhappy, but um, they, it's like they, I feel like they blamed you or something, Put maybe even they, they told a, a, a twisted version of the story, something like that. They weren't telling the truth. They were not being honest here. They need, they need to take accountability. They need to tell people how they feel because this karmic, she is going to work this person into the ground trying to keep up with you. That's what she's doing. She's going to work them into the ground trying to keep up with you. She is their karma. But she is so jealous of you because she knows, man, that it's easy to tell that this masculine is miserable. They walk around like Eeyore, you know, ho-hum. They're, they, they're not engaging in anything fun. They, um, they may be like not barely talking to people, you know. People never see them smile or laugh anymore. They're exhausted. This person could be having a lot of like muscle aches and pains too. Uh, they work a lot of long hours. This person, like, they can't stand their life. It's so obvious. It's obvious to everybody that looks at them that they're miserable. Okay, and I feel like all this person can think about is you, how good you're doing, how they went out, how they should have chosen you in the first place, but they broke your trust. How you're so much stronger than them, you know? Th this person may try to communicate with you here with the Eight of Wands. I feel like they just, um, they want out. They don't know what to do. They're confused. You may get some text messages, phone calls from this person. Yeah, I kind of get the sense that this person, they just, it's to the point where they can't take it anymore. Oh, they are so stuck on you. And they're just, they're just stuck. They got themselves stuck, okay? They got themselves stuck. See, with the fool card out here, I, I always see, I always see the hangman as the fool hanging upside down because they got themselves tripped up here. If you look, it's kind of like a very similar pose. It's just upside down. All right. It's just upside down. Same vest and everything. Okay. So I always kind of see it like this, you know, they, they did something reckless. They juggled two people. They were with someone else while they were thinking about you. They made a dumb choice. They got themselves tripped up in it, and now they've gone and gotten themselves stuck. They feel stuck. They feel trapped. Yeah. 
you know and i feel like it's because they have to they have to tell the truth they've trapped themselves in i feel like they twisted the story they put some blame on you um you know just to save their own reputation now right well now they can't stand where they are and in order to break free they have to tell the truth and because they're gonna they're gonna make a beeline straight for you this person wants you and i feel like they're gonna come towards you it's right here they're making a decision here they're choosing a path they want you high priestess energy You've been very quiet, not talking to them, not saying anything to anybody about this. It's almost like this person is Valdemort, you know, the one, the one whose name must never be mentioned, right? You keep to yourself, all right? So, uh, but you're the one that they want, okay? They're going to be making a beeline towards you, man. Yeah, they don't know how you're going to react to it, though. And see, this is, it's just, they're afraid of something here. I can just feel the fear. I can feel this person's fear. This could be a, a Pisces, Cancer, Virgo, Aries. You could be a Cancer. They see you as mysterious as well. I feel like this person there's something about your energy that really intimidates them not only are you stronger than them and you're more courageous and confident than them um, but you're also extremely intuitive tapped in connected to the divine you're like a mystery to this person and just all of it everything about you intimidates them okay um, I think, you know, honestly, this person, they, they, they kind of are fearful of everything. And really, all they have to do is tell the truth. The truth shall set them free. You know, yeah, they're going to have to, you know, there's going to be a lot of angry people with them. That people are going to want to fight. People are going to want to, I don't know, yell at them or they're finally going to have to take the blame for what they've done. So people are going to be like berating these, this person, you know, they, they may have their reputation may be affected here, but you know, I feel like, um, it will set them free and they'll at least have a chance to be happy if they stay where they are now. This person's never going to be happy there, but they're miserable they hate it there yeah so in order to break free from you know the mess that they've made acting a fool okay in order to break free from this they gotta boss up they've got to boss up they've got to make a firm decision and they need to tell people they need to be honest they need to be a stand-up person and do the right thing and show some integrity if they want the star. And I feel like you're the star. Yeah. Because there's something very unique and rare about you. You know, and you deserve an emperor. An emperor, not a fool, not a hangman. Okay, an emperor. And they must be able to get in emperor energy in order to be with you. And the only way to do that is to take a stand and be honest and tell the truth and face this mess. They've been avoiding the consequences. But what they don't seem to realize is they're already living the consequences in a miserable uh, situation. Yeah. Let's see what they want to say. What does this person want to say? I long for your kiss. You are so different from everyone around me. What did I just say about you being a rarity? 
okay? And you deserve, because you're a star. That's, you're a star. <sighs> High Priestess, you could very well be a Divine Feminine. It hurts so much. It, it hurts so much being without you. And then they're saying, I can't make you happy. Why can't I tell you the truth? I feel like it's, they know they have to tell the truth, period, to like everybody, whatever they've lied about, it, it, especially in order to get out of a situation that they just can't stand anymore. They're going to have to speak up. They're going to have to speak up and make a decision. Yeah, what do you see in me? Because this person knows you're stronger than they are. You're stronger than them. All right, what else can you show me? This person could have some childhood trauma, and honestly, it kind of makes sense because they are so worried about what everyone thinks of them. They're way too concerned about everyone's opinion of them. You know, this person doesn't listen to their own intuition. They allow people to lead them, however, whatever direction they want them to go in. I feel like this person has a hard time with confrontation. They don't like to confront the situation. They don't want to cause any fights. And it may very well stem from childhood trauma. You know, um, but they've got to break free from that. They've got to be able to take a stand. You know, this person's having a really difficult time with this, but um, it's literally, yeah, this drama. Yeah, they can't take it anymore. They can't take it anymore. And at first words here, I'm stuck. But I'm, they're stuck in visions of you together, like they want to be with you. They just want to be with you. Their, their mind, their heart won't let them forget. Okay, but they've got to get out of the situation first. They've got to get out of that drama that they can't stand anymore. I can't take it anymore. Yep, I can't take it anymore. I long for your kiss. It hurts so much. Yeah. Anyway, collective, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps and resonates. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Yay. Subscribe to the channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.